Hello, this is Ace Tactical, and I'm going to do my last run of testing Shapeshifter here before I release it, essentially. I'm going to make a few changes. I'm going to wait for the Apex expansion, particularly. I'm going to wait to make this Hunter an LSV, so that's not quite so OP when you use it. I haven't used it. I don't intend to use it on camera. I'll leave you to do that, but... I'm going to go do one more round. I'm going to do it in daytime because I noticed that in the last few videos we were definitely doing a lot of nighttime gameplay and the AI just could not see or aim for shit and it made the gameplay really easy right up until you got one shot. But that's sort of an Arma thing, not really the mission. So I wanted to try again in broad daylight with a normal rifle. So I brought along a Steyr AUG A1. This is the heavy barreled automatic rifle version. So it's basically the squad automatic weapon, the saw, the light machine gun variant. So it's got a long barrel and then I added a, a suppressor just so that it's like ridiculously long. J just just because I need to compensate, really. So I've got my Steyr squad assault weapon or squad automatic weapon, whatever you want to call it, the LMG version. And I've got a suppressor using a normal Walther P99 there. Um, so other than that, we're basically going to use this as the light machine gun it was designed to you to be. And we're going to do this as just a straight up combat, daylight combat sort of uh, Gameplay. I'm also going to try a different strategy that I've not used in the past, which is to try and pull back and do some more long-range combat, because that's the one thing this, as replayable as I want to make this mission, it's, it's one thing it definitely doesn't have a whole lot of long-range combat. Uh, it's just very hard with Camp Maxwell to do that. So... We're going to see how viable that is, or if I really do have to do close quarters every time, because that that alone seriously cripples how replayable it is, whether you can choose to do long range or short range. You know, that's, uh, that's a big gameplay difference, and it also affects what kind of weapons you'll need and what you'll be doing, so it, it matters a lot. Uh, so we're going to see if we can pull back, see if we can see some things from here, and accurately engage though. Honestly, Camp Maxwell is quite well placed. You really do have to go right up in there. So, this is my best bet for where you could actually engage. You can see that that barrel is actually partially integrated, um, integrated bipod. You also notice that I'm using the A1 version, which has the old fashioned uh, scope to it. It doesn't have a Picatinny rail. So it's got that nice, uh, sleek looking scope, and it, it's actually a really nice little scope. I, I really like it, I also like it's an open circle, so you put your target in the open circle and then you pull the trigger. It has a top mounted iron sight as well, so you're not left like uh, some jackass using a sniper rifle, like a bolt action sniper rifle at 15 yards. I don't know who the hell would do that, it's fucking stupid. But yeah, this is going to be my last playthrough. I think I've abused this mission enough. I've done enough different versions of it. And no, it doesn't look like I'll be able to engage anything from here. So my next stop is over there. I'm going to see if I can get into the Hunter. And if I can, I'm going to go up a, to that hill right there and try and do some more long range or semi long range engagement from there. Long range meaning like 100 to 200 meters. Yeah, I don't think you can do a whole lot of long range here. Not like 800 yards sniping or something. That's not going to happen. I'm also packing these 42 round magazines. No, I cannot get into the Hunter this time. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. That's just how it is. Another weird thing about this gun is the uh, it's set to full auto and there's nothing you can do about that. You can't switch it off. And that's going to be an issue for me. I don't like full auto. I hate full auto. Full auto only has one place, and it's when you shoot at something that's shooting back at you five yards away. That is the one and only time you need full auto. The majority of the time, you just semi-auto is your best friend. I can't zero up or down with the scope. It's set to 300 meters. That's just how that is. That's okay here, though. It's going to make it a little hard to aim at 100 meters, though. Very difficult to aim, actually. I 
really love that effect where it's sort of like uh, towards the edges of the scope it seems we're like really dimmed but I think that also means that you're not 100% in line with your scope. I think that's a parallax effect you're not supposed to have if you're aiming correctly. I don't know though. I haven't looked down a scope in a while. Don't intend to. Gun ownership's too hard here. Oh, that's not a lot of zoom. Well, there's a target there, if you can see him. I got him. Got him. Some other people are running around being all freaked out. It's understandable, you know, watching your friends die. It's... Apparently somebody sees me. I don't know who does. This has a very limited... Very limited field of view. Got him. Yeah, this scope is not detachable though. It's not a Picatinny rail, so if I don't like it, that's how it is. Yeah, they're all congregating near the uh, sides there. Since it's shooting around the 300 mark, I'm gonna guess that that's like two to 300. I think I got myself in over my head. I have to admit, the uh, the rate of fire is just slow enough that it is manageable to do semi-auto. I don't know where my rounds are going. This is about to get very real very quickly. Very, very quickly. Yeah, we brought a lot of mags in there. 40 say there are 42 round mags, so uh, we should be okay on ammo for a while. One thing I'm afraid of right now is that I'm looking down my right side, but I don't know what's happening to my left side. So they could be flanking me right now, and I don't fucking know. like I'm hitting the arms and the legs, which is bad. The arms is especially bad because that means that I'm not going to aim quite as well. It's going to give me a whole bunch of shitty weapons way. Got him. So I have to aim at the top of the reticle. Wonderful. I'm still running the FIA replacement, so they're all shooting. Yeah, I got him. Yeah, it's at the top of the reticle that I need to aim. Uh, they're all still shooting with AKs right now, which is very concerning because 762 by 39 is a very real round. It's a real man's round. The AK is a real man's gun. It's not your daddy's Ruger 1022. I saw a guy. I saw him with my own two eyes. Simulated by only one camera. Got him. Oh, I see him. I see him off in the distance. Yeah, I'm not precisely sure where the, the point of impact is as compared to my point of aim. You see, it looks like it's somewhere above the center of the circle. So it looks like it's at the top of the reticle, but I can't tell you precisely where. So it's, it's kind of a guessing game. I have to shoot essentially full auto to make it work. I like this sight. I like this style of sight, but I just wish it weren't so limiting in field of view. Uh, that looked like a kill.
Boom. Double boom. Yeah, so this isn't long range exactly. It's like probably 200 meters. Probably less. But it, it feels long range enough with a decent scope. You know, you can fool yourself into thinking that you're doing long range combat. But they still stay close enough that they're they're kind of a deadly force. It looks like they're not moving around too much, so I'm gonna check my left flank and just see what's up and if they're flanking me. And I switch to my iron sights and see if I get if I start catching rounds. Yeah, it sounds like it's coming from over there still, so we're gonna hold back up. I don't know if the yeah, this is my rock. I can tell it by all the the grass that's flattened around it. God love that feature. I remember in Arma 2 with the Dev Diary when they're like, yeah, so we got it so that the uh, grass now mats down when you roll over it. And that was like really revolutionary. That was the Arma 2 Dev Diary before they released Arma 2. That's where Arma 2 was. So for all the bitching you hear about Arma 3, remember, Arma 2 brought you flattening the grass. Arma 3 brought you everything else. Mostly true. Got him. I had to aim directly at him, so maybe that's 300 meters and that's 200. That would make sense. Yeah, I'm gonna go check the close range. No, I'm not. Got him. Yeah, this 556 is just killing it. No castle tower, it looks like, from here, so we don't get to run that strategy this time around. Here's a weird thing. I don't, I don't know if any of you are modders or you're capable of answering this question, but in Arma 2, whenever you had a suppressed version of a gun, back in Arma 2, there was no such thing as weapon accessories. They were all just static guns. And then Arma Bohemia Interactive created like 90 bajillion different versions of guns with the different weapon accessories, but they weren't actual weapon accessories. They were completely fixed to the gun. So you had to get the right version of the gun. And if the version of the gun that you wanted didn't exist suck it now the accessories are actually dynamic so you can add accessories to the guns you want where you want them and when you want them and you can take them off so that was pretty revolutionary for armor 3 but i remember in armor 2 whenever you had a suppressed version of a gun uh the the muzzle velocity was lower and my understanding of actual ballistics is that the suppressor acts as a barrel extension which increases muzzle velocity but I'm not 100% sure as to how suppressors actually work so Vickers Tactical might have been lying to me I don't think so but I don't know you can only trust it once you've tried it and I haven't tried it because suppressors and stuff like that is illegal here <coughs> threaded guns are illegal Suppressors are illegal. Everything NFA is legal or illegal. Because that's the beauty of California. Yeah, we're gonna move right this time. No, we're not. Maybe. I don't know. Impulses. I follow them. That's how you get AIDS, boys and girls following your impulses. Huh. Boom.
the hell just happened? That guy just popped through the back of the building. Oh, shit's popping off in a really ungodly way. Some of them are just downright confused as to where I am, and then there's that one guy with the Mark 14 who has absolutely no question as to where I am. Which is a problem because he's the one with the most powerful gun. Nope. I'm out. Not from both angles, you don't. I'm not getting spit-roasted like that. No fucking thank you. Did that once, not doing it again. I jest. Really. Boom. I'm gonna take the time to do a reload. Yeah, I don't know where that Mark 14 guy is. Got him. I thought I saw another guy. I might just be seeing things. Holy shit. Well then, it appears as though we are now pinned. You know what happens right, right after getting pinned? The spit roast. He looks like he's bleeding. Oh boy. Oh. Don't expose too much of me, Arma. That would be immodest. Bad day. Yeah, so part of this was to test daylight combat as opposed to nighttime combat. And yeah, they put up a bit more of a stiffer fight during the day because they see you better. I think it's the fog. I was playing those nighttime plus fog missions. And man, they're blind as bats then. It makes sense, you know, if you don't have night vision. But this is broad daylight, no fog. And yeah, they shoot back a little bit more. I just want to see where this guy to my right is so I can lock down that flank and then continue to be flustered as to what to do with the 50. I don't want to go over this IBL. It's a bad idea. I'm going to flank around, come back down on the other ridge that I know too well by now. Mark 14 guy over here. Around here. It's gonna be really unfortunate when I step on him. Which in Arma is very possible. Yeah, I like these 42 round magazines. Not doing nearly as much reloading. No, that's definitely not where I want to put a bipod. But thank you for trying, Arma. There is no consolation prize. Where the shit is this guy? Sounded like he was firing like an AK. Well, that was awkward. I shot him in the ass. Most undignified shot I've ever taken. He got down, he actually got down, assumed the position, and then things happened, you know? 
Like, it just, it, it all happened so quickly. I'm not even sure he was protected. And I, yeah, clearly he wasn't because now he's dead. The innuendo is strong in this one. Trying to figure out where he is. Not quite figuring it out. Oh, there he is. I see him, I see him. Did he move? There he is. Got him. See, all it takes is one good shot. He fired so many rounds, none of them connected. Can't miss fast enough to win a gunfight. Alright, now that I've... I'm gonna take the time to clear this thing. Okay, clear. Looks like this whole place is mostly clear, so I'm gonna go back to being flustered with a 50 cal. And if it escalates, it'll be about being fucked by a 50 cal. <sighs> no dirt ramp. Looks like we're cut off from this angle. I'm sure we can manage something. I'm sure we can manage a shot. Got him. Got him too. That was remarkably easy. Okay, this gate is open. I heard a voice. Okay, looks like there's one dead guy there. Yeah, looks like clear here. Usually are. They usually don't stay in this lower part. They only stay around if they either don't know where you are and don't want to engage, or they stick around if they uh, they feel like they can shoot from their position, they don't feel the need to move around for a new one. Okay, that's clear. So there's probably still a guy swimming around in the ether somewhere across the sea, somewhere waiting for me. Looks like I'm shot in the arms and the legs. I don't know how he even got that many shots off. Then again, I don't know how I got that many shots off. You know what? <laughs> Fuck you. For shooting me. That's just so mean. I don't know. Some people just want to watch the world burn. I can also use his first aid kit. Because I have already gone through two. So apparently we assaulted... Camp Maxwell. We've done our job here. And the weapons cache is there. So I know the northern gate is closed, the southern gate is not, and the western gate is not, so I have more mining to do. Get another restock some of our grenades, first aid kits, so on and so forth. Uh, no, I don't want that. I can't, for some reason you can't use those magazines with the styre. Can't tell you why. So, I'm gonna put a small IED there. 
we're gonna run away, we're gonna blow it up, and we're gonna mine the shit out of the place, and then we're gonna hide in that bunker, because that's one of the best positions to hide in right now. Unless you have the, the tower, which is better. Boom. Yeah, this has been a, a really nice little uh, game this time around. No, none of that night vision BS. Oh, that's right, I don't, I don't need that yet. I've only seen them trip on my mind once. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna put another little mine here. mine here. Mine that. And I'm going to use the last large I IED. What the hell is that? Huh. You left... Oh, the med kit. Interesting. I don't want to touch that. Now it is time to run, run and run. Wait a second. I didn't destroy the power generator for a secondary objective, but I can recover the intel. So that's one secondary objective done. And now it's just a matter of, it's a waiting game. We'll see how many of our explosives actually turn out to be useful. I hear them. Sounds like they're to the south, west. I hear their footsteps. Oh, yep. I must have gotten a few with that. I honestly can't tell you how many. I heard them say I got a man down, so there was a kill. A kill happened. It occurred. Hold on, I want to just see how much magnification this thing has, because it's pretty low. Okay, it doesn't show. Oh, I see him. Got him. Looks like I got that guy. Look at that crater, that's disgusting. Got at least that guy. You're not making a lot of noise, so I kind of think that I got like a bunch of them. Oh, oh, that's, that's, that's a lot of them. So I shot that guy. 
but then one, two, three, four of them, plus the guy to the right, so that's... Hi, sir. How are you doing today? He's done. He's done for the day. Yeah, so I got one guy over there. And then... One, two, three, four, plus the guy. So I got at least five guys with my explosives, which is respectable. Twelve spawn per wave. The number of waves you get depends on how many players you have. So, twelve... I almost killed 50% of their force with my explosives alone. That's more than respectable. Oh, there's one. Got him. Let's get that on that other shoulder. Okay, so one of them was out there, which leads me to believe that multiple of them are out there. I've shot one, two, three, four, five? Which means two remain, unless there's another corpse I didn't count. One, two, three, four, and then one of the distance five. So I've killed ten to my count, which means two remain. Two is enough to get me killed, so let's be careful. I'm looking for another corpse. Just in case. Okay, yeah, so it's five from the IEDs. We'll see what we can do. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this, but there is a difference between the IEDs and the satchel charges, or the uh, explosive charges. So there's... I hear them. And it's not the, the TV in the background. Um, the difference between the explosive charge and the satchel charge is the explosive charge is smaller in explosion and the satchel charge is larger. The difference between the small IEDs and the large IEDs is the same difference. Large IEDs are like way more explosive than small IEDs. The difference between the IED families and the explosive charges and satchels is that the military grade satchel and explosive charges are more powerful. I'd say they're 20% more powerful than the IED variants. The, there's no difference between the urban and the dug-in versions of the IEDs. They're just reskins of each other so that they blend in better, but they, they have the same explosive force. But the IEDs have 20% less blast power, if you will, than their military-grade um, explosive charge and satchel charge variants. I'm going to go hunt around for a while because they're just not showing their heads. Close the hatches. And then you can kind of peer through. They shoot me from behind, I'm gonna rage. Because it's been a while since I've won like, my own mission. Not gonna lie. It's been a little brutal. I don't fucking know where they are. Because they're around somewhere. They've gotta be. I really don't want to go out and hunt them. That's when they're on their turf and I don't have these nice fortifications. Mm, I'd have to do it. Huh, the wheels are blown out. I should have saved that just in case.
Somebody shot at me. I gotta check their guns really quickly, just so I know what the hell they're using. So he's using a 300 blackout AR. He's using a good old-fashioned M60. 300 blackout. 300 blackout. They're all using 300 blackout weapons. Oh, I almost ran right into my own mine. Because I am a certified dumbass. 300. They're all shooting 300 blackout, which is... Comparable to oh looks like I got another one. Looks like I got another wait, how many did I get here? One, two, three. Looks like I got another one from IED, so that chalk that up to six IED kills, which is fifty percent of their force. Which is why I can't I can't find this last guy because there's only one of them. He retreated all the way out there, that makes sense. Yeah, that took care of him. Yeah, so 300 blackout is comparable to 762 by 39, which is shot by uh, the AKM or AK-47. Yep, I'm gonna walk into the sunset, which is actually a sunrise or something, I don't know. Yeah, that was a good, that was a good playthrough. That's my last playthrough of Shapeshifter. I have abused this mission enough. I think I've proven that it's very replayable. I think I've tested it enough. I think it's ready. Uh, I'll, I'll make a few changes once Apex comes out. I'll add a little bit more gear, things like that. But for the most part, I, I think I've proven that this is pretty replayable and a lot of fun. Um, I need to do more multiplayer testing, but beyond this, this mission is it looks pretty ready for prime time, if you ask me, and I've made too many videos for it anyway, so I think we're done. So, this is Ace Tactical out.